At the final stage greeting event for the last Sword Online Progressive Aryova Starless Night movie in Japan, Reki Kawahara has mentioned that Unital Ring is not the final chapter of Sword Online and that the story will be continuing for probably another 10 years. A lot of people are kind of missing the context of this statement and are acting like this is new information and I'm pretty much here to fill the gaps in for you today as you know I have even seen tweets from me as well as other friends from the wikia being completely taken out of context by those well by, by those who do not understand the context of course because quite frankly it is a bit more complex than you probably initially thought and yes we'll get into the United Ring was supposed to be the final arc thing as well this is all gonna be explained here first off this is not the first time we are hearing about this matter, as Hisui from the SAO Wikia has searched his translation archives and found an interview from the now 2 years old EX Chronicle 10th anniversary event where Reiki had answered the question about Kayaba's plans, which United Ring seemingly is already a step off. He specifically mentioned that Kayaba's plans would not reach a conclusion in United Ring, but rather the next arc instead. However, the actual admission predates all of that, going back to the light novel ending of Elicization and even the web novel ending, where he sets up the inter-intelligence war to exist sometime in the future, when all the characters would be back for another grand adventure. And that is where the Reiki hoped United Ring would be the final arc of SAO debacle comes in. You see, when United Ring was announced years before any of this was said, only the Elicization ending was there, we already knew United Ring would not be the state that brings the ending of the series. We knew United Ring had to basically turn into the Interintelligence War, and all Reiki says in these statements is that we'll likely get a title change once Interintelligence War arrives. And for a continuous narrative, it's not exactly the title of the story that matters, otherwise, you know, Elicization would consist of 10 different arcs. So basically, it all boils down to a technicality. It's pretty much the same thing as the Human Realm and the War of Underworld stories being sub-arcs of the collective Elicization arc. They are both two distinct story chunks that form the main story chunk, bundling both the Human Realm and the War of Underworld stories that basically cannot be separated, but only have differences in driving themes into the umbrella of the Elicization arc, and people think they are separate stories because anime had a big break in between them. Here it seems like he's just gonna title the Interintelligence War differently from the United Ring title he has to begin with, despite the stories most certainly tying in together the same way Elicization sub-arcs have. I could of course go into spoiler territory here to further elaborate on a lot of these things as to what happens in United Ring so far, but I aim this to be a quick update video aiming to prevent people taking our tweets out of context. We can talk more on these on live streams, which I do quite often nowadays, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss those. They are basically SAO chat streams where you can just ask me questions and I'll answer. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope this clarifies the circumstances for you, and until next time, stay cool.